Hey guys, what is up? It's Bricks Only here today, and today we're going to be taking a look at this city. So this is going to be another city update I haven't done for a while. But um, in this one, lots and lots has changed, especially in this downtown area. I've gotten some more base plates added in an intersection and tons more detail. So um, yeah, let's get right into the review. Starting off in the Harry Potter area, you can see there isn't too, too much that has changed. Um, I did move everything around a bit though, um, and I put this castle in a different position, which I think it looks a lot better. You can see um, a bit more of it and just uh, adds a bit more depth. Um, also, um, I did kind of start making room for the new Harry Potter sets. And also just getting this out of the way, the far corner, nothing has changed. I do just have a few mocks and sets and whatnot laying around. This is kind of my storage area because I don't know what to do with it yet, um, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens um, later on. Now the downtown area, like I did mention, is where all the change is happening. You can see it's a bit more dense here. There is some base plates going on. You can see there is some construction going on here, um, making way for the new roads that are going to be coming in, along with the new park closest to us. Um, and then in the far back, I do want to replace some of those uh, house sets with just some more mocks and whatnot. And I also did put the hospital on a different um, base. Now taking a look at the area closest to the train tracks, you can see um, by the modular suite surprise building there are tons of little children gathered around staring at all of those sweets and candies and whatnot. Um, maybe just wishing that they want to, or wishing that they could buy them, or maybe they were actually planning on buying them. I don't know what's going on there, but it does look like a lot of fun. Next to that you can see there is a little hot dog stand and some people are buying hot dogs and whatnot. And there's also a guy playing a guitar and he's um, accumulated quite the crowd. If we move on past them, you can see there is um, uh, like a little park that I'm making with the, uh, I guess like the town square almost, with a huge bricks only logo up there. It is not quite finished because I do have some parts on the way, but um, as you can see there are all of my sig figs that I have created so far um, gathered around there. Some different park benches around there and it's almost like a little fountain. There's also this little popcorn stand right next to that, and as you can see, a little kid has accidentally dumped his popcorn, so the janitor is cleaning it up. And then if you can see behind that, um, there is actually a robber trying to get away from the cops because he stole the money from the ATM, and there is a detective on the case. Next to that little scene, there is the Lego store, of course, and of course there is a gigantic crowd gathered around. Maybe there is some Brick Friday deals going on, not Black Friday, Brick Friday. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but there's a lot of people holding Lego sets, and unfortunately, I'm not one of them because I'm with the other Sig Figs. Right next to that, we have the post office mock, and there is not a video out on that yet. Um, I did film it, but I'm past that. Um, we can see there is a little, or two little scenes. One is a firefighter trying to put out Hades' flames that he has in his hand, and the next one is Elsa versus the Ice Queen, um, just battling it out right in the street, because why not? In front of the detective's office, you can see there is a police officer taking a jetpack um, to go towards this drone, and I wonder why. Maybe it is some involved in some sort of criminal activity. Let's take a look on the roof. And when you know there is a criminal. Also on top of the detective's office, there is a little Series 18 party going on. And on top of the Parisian restaurant, you can see Garmadon along with a heli ambulance helicopter. And I wonder what's going on back there. And if you can see back there, there is Lloyd. He fell back there and I just haven't had the chance to get him out yet. Now in the new intersection, I did decide to make these traffic lights. And I had these in one of my previous cities, which wasn't even on my YouTube channel. Um, but I did add in those nice uh, little street signs. And um, th it is a pretty simple build for these traffic lights, but it is um, a very, it's a build that works very well. And then behind that you can see the construction zone. In front of the palace cinema you can see there is a huge crowd gathered because there is a famous actress um, coming out of a limousine going in to the uh, palace cinema. But you can see there are some people turned the other way, and those are the Lego Movie 2 minifigures. And as you can see, Emmett is riding his tricycle, but he looks pretty worried. And that is because he is being chased by an alien invader. But that is really it for all of the changes inside of the LEGO City. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.